Welcome to my first episode of new Apple App Store games. This series showcases new free and paid games released every week on iPhone, iPad, if they are released on Apple TV and Mac. Towards the end of this video, I will also present a huge content update for two iPhone and iPad games and an update on an upcoming Mac App Store release. Sadly, I could not find any new Apple TV games this week, but I will have one next week. Please let me know if this new weekly series is something you guys actually want from me. Firstly, we are going to have a look at five new games for iPhone and iPads. First up, we have Magic Brick Wars. This is Half Brick's first release in three years. Their last game was Dan the Man. This one is a free to play one vs one real time multiplayer strategy game. It involves players placing defenses, traps and units from your deck onto the map below. The goal is to get your units to the other side and attack the other player. As you play, you can build your deck explore caves and collect loot to unlock new powerful cards. The characters are actually based around Half Brick's beloved characters from the Rascals game released back in 2010 for Xbox 360. Magic Brick Wars is definitely the definition of a mobile game and not in a bad way, plus there are no ads in this game and no pay to win mechanics. Look, there are in-app purchases that involve buying diamonds to unlock items, but as I've just said, it won't give you an advantage in battles. Based on my playtime so far, I didn't notice any pay to win elements. Up next, we have the Wanderer, Frankenstein's Creature. Originally released on PC in October 2019, only this week was this point-and-click narrative game published to iOS and iPadOS by Arit. Originally, it was developed by La Belle Games. You'll be taken across 18 iconic pop culture paintings. These paintings are from the 19th century and are set in Europe. The main protagonist, has lost their memory here, so you need to explore to discover the character's origins. As you do this, you'll notice the landscapes evolve and the story will begin to come to life. You'll also have to deal with consequences as your actions will shape the end of the story. Please note, it's quite a slow game and really wants you to take in the beautiful environments and be immersed with the great audio. In fact, it suggested that you play this game with headphones. The Wanderer, Frankenstein's Creature, goes for $3.99 USD on the App Store. Next, we have Football Manager 2020 Mobile and Football Manager 2020 Touch. Sega have given mobile players two different versions of Football Manager to choose from. FM20 Mobile has been made for both large and small displays, i.e. iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPads. And it has a more streamlined approach. This version goes for $8.99 USD. While on the other hand, FM20 Touch is just for larger displays, which means it's only available for iPads. This one provides almost the same experience as the PC game, but with a simpler and more accessible format. It even has a 3D game engine compared to the dots and numbers of the mobile version. This one goes for $19.99 USD and in my opinion is the one you should probably go for unless you want a cheaper experience. You might think that both of these games are expensive, but they are actually quite a bit cheaper than on other platforms. Also, I did notice that FM20 Mobile doesn't fit the resolution of my 2018 iPad Pro. Hopefully, they fix this ASAP. Coming up next, we have Spring Falls. Here we have a new puzzle game that is all about water, 
erosion and things growing. Players must tap on screen and manipulate the environment to bring water across the landscape and in the end bring life to wildflowers. When you first start playing, it can be a little confusing to understand what's going on. But if you just keep going for it, the next few levels, it will start to make more sense. That is until later chapters where it obviously becomes more challenging, making you use your wits. The game has nice 3D graphics, clever level designs, soft background music, and 60 levels are on offer. It doesn't waste your time either. There are no annoying tutorials or menus to pass through. The gameplay is instant, and I really respect that. Spring Falls costs $3.99 USD. And our last iOS and iPadOS game is Right Runner. The amazing thing about this game is that it is completely free and has no ads and no in-app purchases. Right Runner is a platforming runner game. It's set in Latin America and the Caribbean, and you can skateboard through different environments. To play, you tap the right side of the screen to jump, hold on the right to do tricks, and tap on the left to slide. I would say the game is a social movement campaign, and according to the developer who is United Nations Children's Fund, they want to get people to, and I quote, join a new generation of inspiring young people that are claiming their rights and leading the way to the world they deserve. A world within reach. So, as you play, you can collect megaphones to spread the word and meet friends on your route. Plus, there is even a moment in game where you literally have to shout into your iPhone or iPad's microphone. It's very cool. Okay. Then we have just one new Mac App Store game, which is the Textorstist. So this game was first out on Steam, but it was recently published to the App Store by Head Up. It's an action bullet hell and typing game, so it works by you dodging bullets while typing exorcisms at the same time. Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird game, guys, but it's different, and I like that. It's also incredibly difficult, but you'll soon find yourself learning touch typing skills. And not in a boring way either. The Textor Cyst goes for $14.99 USD on the Mac App Store. Okay, here are those bonus games. A huge update for Call of Duty Mobile just launched today. We finally have controller support. Controller support. This means you can use an MFI controller, or a PlayStation DualShock 4, or an Xbox One S controller. To add on, the highly anticipated Zombies mode is here too, and more maps. All of this is fantastic news, as it makes Call of Duty Mobile pretty much just like the console versions of COD. Few minor things to take note of with this update. First of all, controller support is mostly limited to gameplay only. For the majority of the time, it won't work for menu interactions. Also, the UI doesn't really change appropriately. I thought that maybe when you connected a controller, the UI would be more simplified, like a actual console version, but that doesn't seem to be the case. And to unlock the zombies mode, you need to be level 5, uh, which kind of sucks, but you can get to level 5 pretty quickly in just like 3 to 5 matches, depending on how good you are. Do let me know in the comments if you are waiting for controller support to give this game a go. Remember, Call of Duty Mobile is free to download. Gathering Storm is now available for Civilization 6 on iOS as an in-app purchase of $39.99 USD. You might think that's a steep price, but remember, this is exactly the same game as the PC version. This is the second expansion to Civ 6, which introduces 8 new civilizations, 9 new leaders, 7 new world wonders, new units, districts and buildings, environmental effects, and heaps of other improvements. 
And last, Feral Interactive have gone public recently, stating that Shadow of the Tomb Raider is coming to the Mac App Store in the next few months. It was just released on Steam for Mac, but the Mac App Store version had to be delayed for whatever reason. So if you'd prefer to buy it from the Mac App Store, well, I guess that's good news for you. Have you played any of these new games? And if not, will you play any of them? Again, let me know if you want this to be a regular series on the channel. I would really love to help you guys discover new games. Anyway, leave a like if you found the video useful and subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted about upcoming videos. As per usual, thanks for watching.